In this video, we are going to learn about 30 major gastrointestinal diseases, symptoms and how to cure them. So, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. Symptoms include heartburn, acid reflux and regurgitation. Treatment may include lifestyle changes, medications or surgery. Next, peptic ulcers. Symptoms include abdominal pain, bloating and nausea. Treatment may include antibiotics and acid-reducing medications. Inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. Symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea and bloody stools. Treatment may include medication, surgery or lifestyle changes. Then irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. Symptoms include abdominal pain, bloating and changes in bowel movements. Treatment may include dietary changes, medications or stress management techniques. Then diverticulitis colitis. Symptoms include abdominal pain, bloating and changes in bowel movement. Treatment may include antibiotics and dietary changes. Then celiac disease. Symptoms include diarrhea, abdominal pain and bloating. Treatment include a strict gluten-free diet. Then pancreatitis. Symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. Treatment may include hospitalization, pain management and IV fluids. Then gallstones. Symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. Treatment may include surgery to provide, uh, I'm sorry, remove the gallbladder. Then colorectal cancer. Symptoms may include changes in bowel movement, blood in stool and abdominal pain. Treatment may include surgery, chemotherapy or radiation. Then hemorrhoids. Symptoms include itching, bleeding and discomfort around the anus. Treatment may include creams, dietary changes or surgery. Then gastroenteritis. Symptoms include diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Treatment may include rest, hydration, and medications to manage symptoms. Then gastroparesis. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and bloating. Treatment may include dietary changes, medications, or surgery. Then ulcerative colitis. Symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea, and bloody stools. Treatment may include medications or surgery. Then Crohn's disease. Symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea and fatigue. Treatment may include medication, surgery and lifestyle changes. Then food poisoning. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Treatment may involve staying hydrated and resting until symptoms subside. Then gastrointestinal bleeding. Symptoms include blood in stool, abdominal pain and weakness. Treatment may involve hospitalization and blood transfusions. Then hiatal hernia. Symptoms include heartburn, chest pain and difficulty swallowing. Treatment may include medications or surgery. Then intestinal obstruction. Symptoms include abdominal pain, bloating and vomiting. Treatment may include surgery or hospitalization or a bowel rest. Bowel rest. Then intestinal ischemia. Symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea and body stools. Treatment may involve surgery or medications to manage symptoms. Then malabsorption syndrome. Malabsorption syndrome contains symptoms including diarrhea, weight loss and fatigue. Treatment may involve dietary changes or medications. Then esophageal cancer. Symptoms may include difficulty swallowing, chest pain and weight loss. Treatment may include surgery, chemotherapy or radiation. Then small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBU. Symptoms include bloating, abdominal pain and diarrhea. Treatment may involve antibodies, antibiotics and dietary changes. Then gastric cancer. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, weight loss and difficulty swallowing. Treatment may include surgery, chemotherapy or radiation. Then pancreatic cancer. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, weight loss and jaundice. Treatment may include surgery, chemotherapy and radiation. Then ulcerative proctitis. Symptoms include bloody stool, structural pain and diarrhea. Treatment may include medications or surgery. Then Barrett's esophagus. Symptoms may include heartburn and difficulty swallowing. Treatment may involve medications. Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are swollen veins in the rectum or anus. Symptoms include pain, itching and bleeding during bowel movements. Treatment involves over-the-counter creams and ointments, warm baths and surgery in severe cases. Then gastrointestinal bleeding. Gastrointestinal bleeding can occur even anywhere in the digestive tract. It can cause symptoms such as black or tarry stools, vomiting, blood and abdominal pain. Then treatment depends on the cause and may include medication, endoscopy or surgery. 
then inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. IBD is a chronic inflammation of the digestive tract including Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis. Symptoms include diarrhea, abdominal pain and bloody stools. Treatment involves medication, dietary changes and surgery in severe cases. Then irritable bowel syndrome which we have already learned. Then diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is inflammation or infection of small pouches that form in the lining of the intestine. Symptoms include abdominal pain, fever and nausea. Treatment include antibiotics, dietary changes and surgery in severe cases. Colorectal cancer is a cancer that develops in the colon or rectum. Symptoms include changes in bowel habit habits, bowel habits, I'm sorry, bowel habits, rectal bleeding and abdominal pain. Treatment includes surgery, chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Then gastroesophageal reflex disease, which we have already learned. Then anal fissure. An anal fissure is a tear in the lining of the anus causing pain and bleeding during bowel movements. Treatment include over-the-counter creams and warm baths and surgery in severe cases. Thank you for listening.